to my channel. My name is Rachel. I am a working mom with two boys and I own a small jewelry company called Briar Lane. If you can hear Cocomelo in the background, um, it is what it is. We actually stopped letting the baby uh, watch Cocomelon period for months and months and months and he's having a rough day. Uh, he had a a little bit of an incident at the doctor's appointment so he's watching freaking Coco Melon and it is what it is you can hear it in the background but I need to get this video started so I'm filming um welcome to being a mom and being able to film when you can film so I worked all day today um my last video one of my last videos because I never post them in the order I think when I film it I'm gonna post but my la one of my last videos was me reorganizing and kind of putting some of the new pink decor in my office slash studio from what I had before which was the orange tones and the more boho themed I've shifted that to having pink and I got a whole bunch of stuff done however I did a whole video on making it more efficient and everything and now I decided I don't like it. I'm going to change the whole thing. So I am using the budget that I had set aside for a different project and I'm going to kind of work that budget back up. I stole that budget from that and I decided on my desk, I just need more storage. I This room just needs more storage. I have too much little stuff and I'm just not one of those people likes to have everything as easy as it is to get to like out visually. It gives me just anxiety from the clutter look of it. I like to have things really organized the best I can, but still functional. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and I'm gonna show you, we have decided, what I did was I went to um, Google and I did some research on cube organizers uh, for building up the back of my desk. The reason I went this route is because to build all of the things that I wanted to build on this desk as a built-in was going to be, expensive alone for the wood um but also just so time consuming with all of the shelves and I'll show you what I mean when I turn you around I wanted drawers I wanted some really close together um slide in trays for papers uh and scrapbook paper that I can use for backgrounds I just wanted different things and to build them out of wood is totally doable my dad's a woodworker it would have been beautiful uh but I he's got so much going on with his own business and his job and we just decided this would be the quicker route to do the whole thing overall so the lighting's not great in here once again it's evening um but I will show you what I mean it's kind of hard to explain but I'll show you I left half of the kind of design up and half not so you can kind of see the difference of what I'm talking about I'm using money that I already had set aside for a project um and that project was not one that was like on the top of my list it just already had I had already set money aside for that so from that budget the items that I bought were um the tabletop pieces and then also we used the current top for the top shelf the Michaels cubes which I think with the coupon I had cost me like 135 120 115 somewhere between 115 I think there were 128. I don't know. It was somewhere between 115 and 130 uh, for all six six pieces. Um, and so I have those. I have the tabletop, the trim, and then also the I got a new light fixture. I'm gonna leave the rug that's in here for now because it's a weird size room and I already have that rug and it sort of doesn't go with the new wallpaper, but it is what it is. So the new vibe is gonna be more of like a not boho, it's going to be very kind of uh, vintage granny wallpaper that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I can't wait to show you guys the wallpaper I got. Um, I looked for so long for wallpaper for the exact wallpaper that I wanted. I still wanted to keep with that blush pink and that kind of sagey green and dark greens and then um, kind of the creams and tans and then I want to throw gold in there. So it's going to have this kind of like old school wallpaper vintage vibe with kind of like a romantic twist with the blush pinks and the velvet curtains and then also some pops of the modern like gold the fixture I got for the light is gold and have some pops of just modern things so um yeah anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my little video and stay tuned for whenever the next one comes out it'll be a lot more I think efficient uh, overall for this room and I'm really 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 excited to get it all changed around and have so much more storage and not have to have stuff like in the garage in the hallway closet and have it spread out throughout my house and have all of my jewelry stuff in one specific area
Okay, so let me show you guys the plan for the situation. Uh, this gets a little grainy, I think, when we back it up, but I can't go back anymore. So this is my current situation. This is the new setup I got. If you watched that video where I did some desk organization, new pictures, new velvet pink curtains, and then we got some shelves up here. I decided I wanted built-ins, but like I, uh, it's so expensive. So, and it's just, it's not even that it's expensive. It's just freaking time consuming. And I knew I wanted to have drawers and I knew I wanted to have these. These are the other three. The nice thing about Michael's is Michael's makes these cube organizers to be even. So these three, this is a spacer piece. These three pieces are the same height as these two pieces. They do that on purpose so that you can stack all of these cubes however you want to stack them, but they'll be even across the top. So if you did like a wall of these or something, they're always gonna be able to be even heights. So that's great. So I have this one, which is a taller unit. I have this one, which has one shelf in the middle or wherever you wanna place it. I have another one that has one shelf in the middle. I have the scrapbook paper 12 by 12 um, holder or whatever the heck you wanna put in there. And then the spacer piece. So my plan is to leave this as is, put the other three pieces on this side and then up above to do a shelf all the way across the top of here so that I have storage up above for things that I don't use very often. I'll get some whatever baskets, we'll look together, uh, some baskets, bins, whatever it may be. So, and then trim this. So I'm gonna push this a little bit to the side out and we'll trim it up here and then up here and then maybe some other trimming so that it looks built in. Also, we're gonna push this out a little bit, trim that down, and then make a base piece down here that this will sit on so that we can use trim and go around the trim and back all the way to the wall where it meets the other piece of trim so that it also looks built in. Um, and then right now it's on like the little roller casters. And so that's gonna, I think, change. Also, I have this dead space back here because these are not deep enough. I couldn't find ones. This would be a very deep drawer. Um, I couldn't find them that uh, would work where they go all the way to the wall. This has a bunch of like unnecessary space back here that's not needed underneath. So uh, right now I shove like materials and supplies that are extra that I don't want to look at. Um, so we're going to beef this up. This is going to be thicker. It's going to be stronger so that I can stand on it if I want to. My dad's going to fill this uh, with some trimming and make some shelves. So there'll be like, I don't know, one, two shelves. So I can slide all of my extra bubble mailers back here in this dead space and make use of it. Uh, so that's something that's going to be nice because I can put, I have so many extra bubble mailers that I got off of uh, Black Friday on Amazon or wherever um, and they just are all in the closet and I want to be able to have them somewhere. So this is all makeup. I'm going through my makeup. Look at all that unused, untouched makeup. I am slowly going through and just chucking everything that is either old or not used. Okay, so uh, yeah, so this is all going to be trimmed out. This is going to have this nice built-in look here up to the top with the shelf. These are gonna all have to go away because the shelf is gonna be here and it's kind of a weird space. So I don't know what I'll do under there quite yet, uh, but this is all gonna go away. There'll be the nice shelf for all the things I don't use. Um, and then the other stack of three, these guys will go over here and also be trimmed in nicely with all of the dead space in the back being um, taken care of. So these were the cheapest way, and they're not even that cheap to be honest with you, to do built-ins for me. I looked at Ikea, but wanting to have the drawers, wanting to have the little, these things, um, to get, to build those is very time consuming. And yes, my dad could do it no problem, but like I didn't want to take up all his time doing another one of my hundred projects because who knows, in two weeks, I'll probably decide to change something else in the house. So this is the easiest way to do it. Pre-made boxes. So all we're really doing is a shelf and trimming. Um, and then it will give this finished, I'm hoping it will give this finished look like, you know, pretend this is trimmed and the bottom's trimmed, this whole built-in look here. Then all of this stuff, Stuff goes away. Also, I did mess around with things last night. And these new containers I got on Amazon, this comes with a pack of like, I don't know, many 10 or something. They fit perfectly in this drawer, one big one and two long skinny ones side by side, literally perfectly. Almost like, look, like 
there's a little bit of room, but so good. So those will be perfect for doing all of like extra stuff. This is all the extra pieces from putting them together. Um, and these do, they're on like plastic holders, um, drawer slides, and they do actually pull out fairly nice. So there's, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five drawers, which is going to be perfect. I'm not sure what I'll put in the open ones. And then I have a bunch of like notebooks and scrapbook paper that's 12 by 12 that's hard to find storage that's not ugly. Um, that's going to go all in there for seasonal pictures and things. And then I have extra space. This side of the room, these are full. I actually cannot fit another row of these, which I wouldn't be able to reach anyways, um, if I, unless I move these down and I don't wanna do that. So I also got a couple more of these guys that are gonna go on the wall here. So it's kind of a mess in here. It is what it is until we get working through the situation. Obviously it's a really small room and I just have to work with what I have and this is what I have, so. Yeah, that is the plan for this space. And I'm really excited to see what it looks like once we get um, it all put together. So I think I'm gonna do really quickly, just since my dad's gonna come over and help me measure anyways, I'm gonna pull these and replace them in there so I can get like a visual of what, it, <laughs> what it's gonna look like. Obviously these aren't gonna stay up here, but I'm gonna get just a visual of what it will look like once the stacks of cubes are on the desk so I can see how I wanna put it. So uh, let me stick those up there and I'll show you guys what they look like. Okay, not a very good visual because I don't know if I like that. I think I want to put the big one on the bottom and the spacer on the top. Let me switch them real quick. Okay, I like that better. So, ta-da, that's what it's going to look like. I also could put those up there, but these have to be somewhat low because I can't reach them if they're up any higher. We'll evaluate when my dad gets here and does all the measurements, what he thinks. But this is the base. Pretend there's a shelf here and some really pretty trimming <laughs> and then I've got my light that's gonna stay where it's at and then I think I might do some kind of cool strip lighting on the inside just from some extra but I don't know I know it's a mess and it's kind of hard to tell visually but I think it's gonna look really nice and I'm very excited to have some extra storage and then these don't have the shelves in them the shelves can go um like wherever you want them there's three different spots for the shelves and then they do drill holes in them and give you the uh bolts to be able to screw them to the next one up so that they don't move which is really actually thoughtful of them uh this also if you guys ever buy this does not come with all of them i didn't realize that it only comes with one two three four five it only comes with five so if you do want them closer together i don't this is plenty for me but if you did want them for like individual paper colors you will have to buy the additional uh shelves which is kind of crappy but that's okay it is what it is i also think i'm going to turn these around because i don't actually love this like dip and I think that's easier to get them to pull out and stuff, but I don't love it. So that is the plan for the situation. Um, it doesn't stick out too far. It doesn't actually sticks out less than those ones that I had here stacked. So it gives me a little bit more room. Honestly, this mat is where I work anyways. And this mat is, once I slide it over, will fit literally perfectly in between these two spots. And this is my working area. So I don't necessarily need this area. And we are going to make the desk about five inches deeper um, so I can still reach the back no problem but also just give it a little bit extra I don't want it to go out to here because then when I go to do the wallpaper it's gonna be really hard to get back there we are gonna put a lot of uh, braces back here another thing that I am going to have my dad do is drill holes so we're gonna do a drill hole here and then also one over there and get those little plastic um what are those things called like covers and it's round and it sets in there and slides open and closed so that the uh the cords can go in there then i can have all of the cords to all of this junk not all of it but a lot of it and also the cords to like this guy that i still have yet to charge and like my phone because this mirror is fantastic love it was very inexpensive when i bought it years and years ago however the usb port is broken so i can't actually plug anything into it and i think having a hole here and a hole in that corner um will just help because then I can kind of put all of the cords out of the way and then they go under the desk and then get like a cord keeper or something where I can run them down the wall um, or even maybe a spot where they can go through the shelves that my dad's going to make something to just clean it up so there's not so much junk because right now I really wish that there was a plug 
I might get an extension cord for the mirror itself, run it underneath the bottom and down um, to some kind of plug-in that has like multiple, like one of those strip ones, so that I don't see this, because not that you really see it, but I see it, and it, if I'm going to go through the, all of the work to do all of this, might as well make it as clean looking as possible. So then I can store a bunch of stuff back there, even my little light box I think will fit back there, and things, yes, I have to crawl in there to get it, but is it really that big of a deal? No. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. These little cube things from Michael's were great. I think they're going to work really good. I looked at Pinterest for hours and hours trying to figure out the best cost efficient way to have what I wanted which was these kind of things and drawers and open areas and building them was just not an option to do it efficiently um, time wise for us and pre-built options were great Amazon also had some that were in like a natural wood color but they were like 35 or 38 dollars for one cube these ones were I think 15 dollars for that one I can't remember what these ones were, $25 for these ones. Um, and then this one was spendy. It was like 60 to 70, 67 99 something like that. Um, so it wasn't super cheap, but it was not going to be what it would be, obviously, if I had like California closets come in and do it. Um, and we're going to make it look nice. So that is the plan. Yes, ignore all the mess, but uh, that's the plan. And we will uh take it one video at a time so my dad's coming over tonight we're going to do some measurements and we'll see what the situation looks like and what materials i need to go get this weekend to start the process okay so not a super long video literally just me explaining what all the plans are this weekend um is the plan for this weekend or the goal one is to figure out all the measurements of all of the trimming um and the base like um set up where we have to put the uh, desk on the base and then also we have to so that it's built up so we can put finishing trim in that's what gives it that built-in custom look and so we have to figure out measurements for that we have to figure out matching the current trim that's already here or buying all new trim for the room because I can't do half and half trim also all of the measurements for everything else um, the upper shelf and everything so that's the goal this weekend my dad's gonna come over we're gonna write down everything I'm gonna go this weekend pick up all of the materials for for the project. I've already got all of the cube organizers all made and put together. Then um, my plan over the weekend is to hopefully go get the countertop, the new countertop or the new piece for the desktop cut. Um, well, I wonder if they can cut it. I might just have it cut at Home Depot to, um, because they'll cut your stuff for free uh, or like for cents or something that's really inexpensive versus having to cut it here at the house, which we can do, but it's like, then you have to pull all of the um, tools and everything out and it's just a pain our garage is really full so uh, I think I'm going to get the tabletop um, slash desktop finished so that we can do a dry fit on that make sure that that fits I ordered some wallpaper I w my original plan was to put the wallpaper on the wall before we did all of the kind of built-in situation because it's going to be easier plus it kind of helps it stick on there however I decided that I'm actually going to put it on after one, because then I'll know exactly the space that needs to go in. Plus, if I do ever decide to change the wallpaper because I'm using peel and stick, I want to be able to just have that area that I can take it off and put it back on. And it's not stuck under all of the built-ins that are literally going to be screwed to the wall um, for safety reasons and also to give it that built-in look with trimming and everything. So I'm going to um, just... I'm gonna do wallpaper on the back behind my mirror area in the middle and then just on the backs of the cubes. Uh, so that's kind of my, but the, but the wall, plus the wallpaper wasn't going to be here until like two weeks after when I wanted to have the whole project and the built-ins put in. And I didn't wanna put the whole thing on pause uh, until I got the wallpaper. <laughs> until I got the wallpaper because then I'm all of the stuff that I've put together, all of the materials we brought in, it's all just sitting around cluttered and it's a mess. So the plan is to do all of the built-in situation, get that all organized, everything. And then, then the next step will be to put the wallpaper on and then I'll have to figure out the rest of the decor because it is a very small room. And I do have some little shelves and pictures that you saw in one of the other videos that I got brand new pictures to put in the frames and I don't know if they're going to fit in here now because of the space that I've redone so we'll see where that goes but 
hopefully you guys enjoyed my little explanation and then stay tuned because we will have a video of me and my dad and Jason all working on getting the built-ins installed. Um, and then we'll do another one of like extra decor stuff and also like the wallpaper section and, and things like that. But I thought I would give an explanation because if somebody watches the other video and they're gonna be like, you did all that work and bought all those things for not a lot of work. I just I bought some new things to make it more efficient. And then all of the stuff that I bought is gonna essentially not gonna be there anymore. So, oh well, it is what it is. Sometimes you just have to uh, work with what you have. I had budget in another project that I am going to use. So I'm not using any additional money 